King Mahashiv is dead no. But another side Mahashiv friend Suryadipi is fighting with rebels near the border of Empire Sar. He heard that Indian army attacked in West Bengal but Mahashiv didn't send any message to Suryadip for help. So he thought he will finish this war and he will go back to West Bengal for helping Mahashiv. But he don't know that Indian army killed Mahashiv and his family and conquered the whole West Bengal. But before going back to West Bengal he have sent it to spy in his kingdom. Go to West Bengal and take a look what's going on there. Can't understand something is going wrong no one is sending any message to me. Go fast now. Yes my lord. Next day those to spy came back from West Bengal. Yes, yeah, say me what's going on in there. My lord it's totally bad news. It's really sad to say that West Bengal has fallen. An Indian dynasty took whole West Bengal from us my lord. And my lord King Mahashiv. King Mahashiv what happened to him? He have been executed by Empire Sung Army. Empire Sung Army but there are allies. But my lord they're now supporting to Indian dynasty. Mahashiv is dead West Bengal has fallen how it's possible Empire Sung has betrayed with us? Go now say my troops to get ready for another war. But my lord we don't have that much strong troops fight with them. First we should make our army large and stronger than them then we can go for war. Yeah you're right first I should make strong and large army than them. Then we will go for war. Soon I will take revenge of our king's death. Sir Yadab started to train and recruit troops after two months he made large and stronger army. They're now ready to invade Indian dynasty. My brave soldier's time has come to invade Indian dynasty. It's time to take revenge from those people who have betrayed with us, who have betrayed with our king who have killed our king deceivingly. We will free our country from those invader, we will free our motherland from our enemy. So many mother lost their sons, so many sister has lost their brother, so many sons has lost their father. Their sacrifices will not go in vain. We will fight until our last breath, we will never bend our knee near our enemy. Fight for your glory, fight for your motherland, fight for your country. We have large and strong army than them. We have strong elite horse archers. We have elite horse spearmen and infantry. And we have strong elite footmen like elite archers, elite spearmen, elite infantry. And we have strong catapult. We have everything what we need in this war. Keep hope, keep believe in God. Never fear your enemies, never fear your death, fight until your last breath, and together we will free this country, and we will rise again. After that speech Suryadab gave order to his army to move forward near the gate of Sonargo. Within one day Suryadab and his army reached in Sonargo. And he is preparing his troops to attack before that he sended a message to Sonargon Lord to surrender. Sonargon Lord answered was no he said I will die, but I will never bend my knee to you. And Suryadip said then war is the last option. Suryadip ordered to his archers and catapult to attack first. And Suryadip set his infantry to follow him. At last Suryadip and his army reached near the gate and the gate had been destroyed catapult started to fire in wall of Somarga. And archers started to fire their arrows to their enemy. Sonargon Lord lost half of his strong troops, and Sonargon Lord don't have chance to win this war. Every single troops have been killed or executed. Suryadip order was to kill every single troops of Sonargon, and no prisoners should be taken.
At last Selnargo and Lord have been killed by Suryadip, and Suryadip won this war. After taking Sonargon from Indian dynasty so many castle lords port lords joined or surrendered to Suryadip this just start rise of West Bengal. Thanks for watching my video, and don't forget to subscribe my channel, and press the bell icon for getting new and interesting videos.